Hello, boys and girls. Hello, all. Okay. Absolutely. The bounce is in a fantastic mood. The bounce is up. <laughs> We're up. Look, the bounce. <laughs> I just want to say the summary of our weekend is that the bounce is up. <laughs> the bounce is up. Cash out. Can't say more. <laughs> but I just want you guys to note this moment so that when we come back soon, a couple of months, I think and tell you that this is all we're talking about finally. <laughs> the thing about it is because it's a secret and you're not in the know. But I want you to know that by association, not like, up, not like we did anything. We didn't do a damn thing. But we're in close proximity <laughs> to something uh, that's about to blow. Yeah. And so I just want you to know that the bounce, the bounce is, bounce is up. The bounce is up. And I'm prepared. It's so funny how prepared I am <laughs> for like the joints blowing. Yeah. Even though, what what did I contribute? Moral zero. Support. Absolutely zero. Nothing. Thumbs up is actually what I contributed. <laughs> at so best, as man. In not at best, I contributed not, in fact, less than nothing <laughs> to the process. But now that it's done, I'm contributing a lot. I'm contributing a lot. Yep. So the balance is up. Which yeah. is nice anyway. What did we do this weekend? What did you do this weekend? Um, Friday, I don't think I did anything. Um, what did I do on Friday? As money no day, I decided that I'm into reading books. <laughs> Welcome. <huh>? Yeah. <laughs> I'm into inner, you know. Basically, everyone that messaged me, let's do this. I just said, you know, I'm just like, I like that Mr. Gilbert is making one thing, one thing. They should come to my house. So like two or three people came to my house and then that was... That was most of my weekend. Mm. Friday, didn't do much. Saturday, oh, Moi, who, shout out to Moi, who <laughs> says that she's suing us for not having her on the podcast. All the best um, with that lawsuit. Sis, I wish you, I wish you stupendous talk. <laughs> if you want single Naira like this, you cannot see. Um, she came over and then, what happened? Yeah, one of my other friends came over. It was a lovely, like, couch gossip mm. Um, just saying catch up kind of Saturday. And then Sunday, I did my hair for no jokes, like six hours. Did they have to, like, did you do multiple things? No, so I did, yeah, I did. So mm. I I had to, like, the relax some parts of my hair because I did, I did Brazilian knots. Okay, okay. Here's the challenge. Here's the challenge. And you know, the thing is, one should be reading up about things more carefully. Because the first time I did it, my hair was in great shape. Oh, so okay. I didn't realize that. Like, and then I think two people did it, so it went so quickly. Mm-hmm. Basically, in the Brazilian Kini, they like wrap the extensions around your hair mm-hmm. and almost like tie it with a very small rubber small band. Rubber band yeah. So your hair is out. Mm-hmm. Now, a couple of things about your hair being out. Obviously, if your hair and the hair, so obviously this is like a bob blend. Mm-hmm. What actually happened is that my hair was actually longer than the hair. And so obviously, they now had to start cutting it. But then, Someone else did it before and cut it. And so by the time this new person now puts it, the lengths were now not all bloody hell. <laughs> just, just a problem. Just a problem. <laughs> and it just took the entire... As in, we started at 10. I said, okay, cool. I had lunch for one. When I tell you that I stood up there like 5 o'clock, so, I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> So that's what I did on Sunday. And then we had our usual Sunday family gatherings. That was um, fun. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. A bit too much fun. It was a bit too much yeah. fun. And like I said, the problem with those the, uh, Sunday evenings, I, I really enjoy them. <laughs> However, you know, as one of our colleagues said, the body clock. <laughs> <laughs> because we always leave. I mean, we even left early yes, yesterday. it was early. Yes, yes, we left 12, at 20 12, or something 30, like that. Yeah. 12, 30. Normally, last week I left at like two, three. three. Yeah. We left um, at three. So the problem is that it doesn't really bode well for Monday morning no. as like a concept no. yeah. because there's no reason why you should be out that yeah. late. And we are the definition of if your friends are jumping into a lake, will you, you jump? Will you jump? Do you know why? Because it only takes the first person actually leaving to say, let's go. And say, then let's everyone go. leaves Everybody at the same time. Fine. But until then, Everybody's just, be, staying or... just be nuisances. What did I do this weekend on. I feel like on Thursday, was it Thursday or Friday? A friend of mine is leaving the country. Mm. She's moving. So I went to see her. Okay. Um, and packing is such an experience because there's nothing that tells you you have too many things like moving house. It's just like, what is, what is all this stuff? So she had to, she was making those decisions and it was nice. Like we chilled, we, we chatted. It was fun. Actually, I have a friend that's trying to shift moving furniture and it's so awkward because her question was like, okay, but where do you actually, like, what platform 
was on board. Do you actually yeah. put this on? Mm-hmm. She was like, I'm not even, um, I'm almost not interested in the money because of how long yeah, it, it is. is to just get rid of. Like That was me when I was redoing my room. Yes. I, I gave it away because I couldn't be bothered. That was sure. I was like, who are you? I was like, will you pick it? If you pick it first to get here, <laughs> to negotiate in this yeah, bureau, please. it was crazy. It was crazy. And then on Friday, I had, so my mom, like is now by coastal most of the time. So she doesn't live here. So she tries, when she's around, she tries to do like very specific, like me and you are hanging out yeah, yeah. things. And so on Friday evening, I had drinks with my mom. I remember that. <laughs> I had drinks with my mom. And then we, and then I hung out with my friends after. Same as if you say my friends, it was Wally and Leila. Um, okay, where was I? A very useless endeavor. Where was I in this hanging out? Do you see uh, the problem with, with friends? Do you know the mistake we made? We went to knock, which is always a good idea. But like, there's so nothing that makes one you feel bad. Where were you? Yes. The, let me explain. We had made I want to plan. explain something to you guys. We're in a group chat. <laughs> hey, but that's the problem. We have let a group me explain. Chat. Okay, we have it. There's a group chat that we, we have. We have a group chat and all of us are The in problem it. with that group chat is that you can't invite one person okay, so, or two. So, it has to be everybody okay personally why so did you an example me? john who also happens to be my business partner one of my business partners will be offended if we start things okay but are him. we not all offended now but this man will be hanging out with other people and leave the rest of us on his coming so and be true. offended i just want to say publicly <laughs> like john what you did yesterday nah and the guy is we crazy. were waiting for this foolish man no no no, no. for hours for anyway, hours and hours just says the thing is, why do you think I will not want to be part of a secret movement okay, do you know what? exclude everybody else apart from me? <laughs> of course I want do to be part of that. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Do you get fair what? Enough. Do you, so if you tell me, oh, I'm not inviting the rest of them, good. <laughs> you know, um, that's great. We apologize deeply. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> so we're going to knock and let me not lie to you guys. We talk about money all the time, which I kind of enjoy. Really, because I also like seeing that I'm not the only one that's yeah. feeling bad at the moment. Let me not lie to you. I don't care about whether or not you learn anything from me. But quite frankly, you know, at this current cost of living crisis all over the world, what I really like seeing is me too. And the prices at the moment on the knock menu were so jarring. Like, it was just a very jarring experience. I remember thinking like, oh, wow, this is Crazy. I do remember that maybe last, up last weekend we walked in and I said, Oh, I'm going to get a drink. It, it, oh! You get it. No! You get it. Let me tell you guys, I felt like, we felt like, I felt like a Nigerian parent. I said, If you came, you will finish that drink. I swear. <laughs> in fact, the I drink felt even like had some fruit skin in. I had you everything. Eat it, you would eat the drink. You, you would, don't understand. And you know the way you eat so melt in your mouth. No, 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 no. Let no, me no. tell the mistake I made. I went to the bar and I just ordered what I normally order. <laughs> I didn't check about the pricing. No, it's crazy. crazy. When the guy now mixed the thing, put it in front of me, now said the price. I said, sir. No, it was crazy. I said, no, this is what I ordered. It was normally crazy. it's he said, ah no, ma, ah, that was like two prices they ago. Go. I said, as, as like how, it. Bro, it was what very... are you talking about? Do you know till the end I drank that drink oh, yep. till the end we drank you poured it into a takeaway kitty for me I said you feel you know this thing, even that Chris. even that thing of like oh you know oh my god this sounds so broke but you know that thing of when you and your friends go out and if, if there's nothing you can afford it's water yeah so you just like bring two small bottles of water no <laughs> bring one put ice in two glasses no because we're now at the point where no, generally crazy. I'm looking at my friend and do you know what is crazy these are successful people that's what I'm saying <laughs> these are successful people yes in our group chat this weekend someone was lamenting about the price of bread <laughs> yes <laughs> he was like I went to buy bread do you know the price and I'm like do you know the thing no, honestly it's crazy to me that work as in but everything is tough you know I have I, there's someone that like you know we now hail each other in advance. Because, you know, before, like, you go to Hans and Renee, and you'll be like, now nah, you're not spending. Now no, you do doing. We are going back and forth. Chairman, Presido. No, no, no. You're not going to beat me at this game. I'm not paying for this shit. You are. We'll be going back and forth. Big mommy, big uncle. You, we, we're going to keep playing this game until. No, it is Can now. I tell you guys a crazy key marker of, like, the economy mm-hmm. the price of Isola Bella. 
That wine, yeah. That, like, it's like Moscato. Sweet. Sweet Moscato. Moscato it's one of my wine. favorite that drinks. One, you know, Val de Vise, whatever. Yeah. That one with the orange label. That is a clear indicator of the state of the economy. Bro. Because that year, we're buying this thing at 8K. Yeah. I put it to you now, ladies and gentlemen, that that thing is 25K. Mm-hmm. Depending on where you go, it's not right. Like when I first when I first moved back to Lagos, and I got my fancy job at Zikoko, where I was paid a whopping one hundred and fifty k. When I would be paid my salary, first of all, shawama on me, okay, shawama on me, screaming. After which, on my way home, because I lived, my, the office was in Yaba. I lived in my uncle's house in Babada during the week. I would go home for the weekend, and my boyfriend at the time would come and pick me. Take, we'll probably stop at Ebano because fancy. <laughs> okay? Living it up. <laughs> I will get myself a bottle, maybe two, you know? And they might even be doing sales, so you might say six, five. I said, give I'm me three. Screaming. Give me three. Living the Vida Luca. Now, eh? <laughs> no, you guys, I know people are like, oh my God, if you came here, you're always wanting it. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, oh. Yeah, okay. I just checked the price now. I'm sorry. This thing really is very jarring <laughs> to me. <laughs> it is crazy. This is drink so NG. It's 33k. Yeah, it's I'm crazy. Sorry, it's actually wrong. It's insane. It's insane. So yes, the packing thing. So she's mo- She's she's moving. Um, and so I saw her on Friday. On Thursday, we hung wardrobe? out on Friday. I mean, you know, what it's all built in. Mm, it's all built in. And then on Saturday, I was meant to see a friend in the morning. Um, who was here on short notice, but I don't know what I ate the night before. I wasn't feeling too great. Um, so I didn't end up doing anything on Saturday, but I had a book club meeting. Mm. And it always stuns me, like, how people show up. There are 70 people. I was like, where are we? People follow you. Where are we 70? Yeah, yeah. it was time. fun. And that, and that was really nice. People were really into the book um, that we read, and that we'd read that month, which was really nice. And then on Sunday, normal Sunday stuff. So the same friend, we had brunch yeah. in the morning and then something else happened in the middle. Ice cream. Okay, I got ice cream. Yeah, you went to I, go, I, got, I went to Tanzania and then I got meat pies and because I was seeing my friends and we had like a little, it was even an extra special. It was. It was, was an, an extra it, special hangout. It was an extra special, special hangout. So I said, let it me was buy. the that we realized that we're, we're, we're all up. going to blow. Wow. Yeah. I was like, let Somebody me get. in the group is about to blow. <laughs> and so all of us were just like congratulating ourselves. Congrats to you. One of the last one came out, we just said, ah, how are me? Congrats all of us anyway. We're, we're, all, <laughs> we're all on an upward trajectory. Um, so I said, let me get meat pies and chicken pies. And, you know, the lady added, and this is another thing, I think there needs to be a bit more sensitivity training. In a cost of living crisis, you guys need to tell your cashiers to have a, an encouraging demeanor. <sighs> you can't tell me I'm buying basically six pastry items for like 20 something K with anything less than, I don't know, a congratulatory. Yeah, they should be healing you at the cell, I feel. I feel like the least you can do is say Odogu. Something that will Just give something me. Something like, do you get It's like when I see, I, I went to Hansa and I saw somebody buying three scoops. I said, ah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, man, please now. <laughs> Do you get it? You don't have to oppress everybody. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel, I felt very, but then sun, as usual, Sunday was just a lot of fun. This season of I Said What I Said is brought to you by AfriChange. AfriChange is a fantastic platform you can use to send and receive money from Canada, Nigeria, and to tons of countries, over 50 countries, if I believe. But they have something special for our people in the UK. Very, very special. So at the end of the month, AfriChange is launching their UK card, which means that you can send money from the UK to about 50 countries, and you can also receive money in the UK from these countries. And if you go to africhange.co.uk and you sign up to their wait list, you can get a few perks. You'll be one of the first people to have access to the UK corridor. And you also get invited to the parties that they're having to launch them 
in different cities across the UK. We Fantastic. love a good bag. Do you know what else we love? We love the discount we love code right here. Discount. We love so discount. if you use the discount code IISWIS, yeah. you get a discount when you send your money. I mean, who doesn't it's want... just brilliant. Who doesn't brilliant. want... You get a discount on your initial things. transfer. This is why we love African, because African loves us. That's what we do. That's All right, guys. <laughs> Enjoy the episode. Richard says... Hello, Jola and FK. Well done. I recently, one month ago, got married to my boyfriend of four years. And I'm not joking when I tell you that over the course of the four years we've been together, we've not had any major fights. It's been extremely pleasurable. It's just little misunderstandings, like one person forgot something, the other told them the previous day, which is now relevant to the gist they are giving. Minor things like that. Last week, my husband just out of the blue told me that he doesn't think they love me. he loves me enough. And it might be because the relationship has been too stable compared to the type of relationship he'd been used to before we started dating. This might seem like a small issue, but I'm generally confused as to how to react to this. I mean, how do you react to your husband suddenly telling you that he doesn't think he loves you enough? What makes me angry or bothered most now is the fact that my husband has turned into a major fight when I reply that I honestly don't know what to say or how to reply that statement. Let me know what you think, please. I think the man is possessed. Hey, hey. <laughs> that's you know, that is a situation where you actually have to, to call your mother and say, Mommy, and why are you today? They've come. I'm telling you, they've come. No, mommy, because let me tell you what, what this man what this man said is that we don't as in fight enough. Like there's not enough razzle dazzle, there's not enough spice, nobody's slamming the door, nobody's storming out. He's basically saying, you know what this is? I'm bored in the happiness of this relationship. But do you know the thing? Jokes aside, I still think he's possessed. Don't get me wrong. I also think he's a, he's a liar. Don't, that's another thing. But honestly, there's some people who are like downright addicted to this drama. To chaos. You know, but, do you know any couple who But like, do you know why that's crazy? For they're always me? breaking up. Do you know why that's crazy? Because he's had four years of stability. That's what I'm saying. And he's bored. Yeah, so, but your addiction... Like, do you know what I understand? So this is another thing. I don't understand okay, human beings. I'm saying he's possessed. Um, no, I don't understand. Like, when we date for six months and we're not fighting, maybe you try and provoke a fight. That's what I'm saying. Fight me. Okay, but that's, is that not what he has done now? Four years in. So he said he doesn't love her. After we've married. So let, so let me ask you something. If you really want to rock. If you say you don't love me, do you know, and this is the problem with why you can't? Do you know you can't tell me you don't you love me? You can't tell me you don't do love me. Do you know why? Because so I don't problem, love you Let too. me tell you, the pro- no, I will say that. The problem with this kind of babe is that what she has done is that she's the kind of person that cares deeply about <laughs> things. For example, her husband. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So in her mind, oh, he doesn't love me. Imagine my husband for you. You love me. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you. You love me, die. Die. Like, die. Mad. Die. You don't love me. Yeah, no, you're having malaria. Die. Do you know that if you tell me you miss me, I said before now, we really don't That's love you. That's what I'm saying. I would, what I would do you mean? Do you know, me. I, do you, I promise you, if, <laughs> if my husband of four years yells me, they don't love me. I say, uh, okay. So what else does to do? You love me. You that love wants to kill. You love me. I said, let me hang <laughs> you something. You see this, Mary? We are here. <laughs> we are here. So what I suggest is that you love I suggest <laughs> you love me. Finish. No, that is such Finish. No. And I'll just be like, listen, it's not a big deal. Okay, you don't love me. What I suggest is that you love me. Finish. <laughs> Finish. Simple. Simple. Imagine all this one saying, oh, you want to break. You can't. You can't break up with me. No, it's not. You know how some people try and break up with you and then that you give them the like, oh, No. I said, if you want, it's, you see, if you, this war, you will, start, you will finish it. No, 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 no. You just, it's actually very simple. Okay, you don't love me. Okay, what's the solution? And so love me, finish. Um, and it, that, that's it. Freak me, please. Yeah, and it was the one that's more than that. No, no, but then, okay, do you know what? There's that, but that's also like a personality thing. Do you know the thing? I just think, th- to be honest now, I think it's cruel. Yeah, extremely. That's what I want to say. Very cruel. I want to say that like this person, it's one thing to like want to, provoke so I'm a very playful person I like Erika first of all like that's one everybody knows I like rough play one and two I genuinely enjoy like I've always dated men that are what's the they're a bit serious so a lot of times I'll just say rubbish and realize I really enjoy the fact that if you if you are an unserious woman and you've dated a serious man one of my favorite things is the fact that they take a lot of the things you say very seriously so you can say something like you know 
I really feel like, you know, cars painted blue. And I'll say rubbish. And this person will seriously think about what I'm saying. And you can see on his face that he doesn't want to say, yeah, this girl is a fool. <laughs> and he's trying to gently kind of like explain to you why this rubbish you are saying mm. doesn't make sense. If you're not somebody like me who just generally like playful, silly, stuff like this. It's rock you. It will rock you. And because you also know that they are not playing and they're trying to provoke like an argument, you have to say it's not okay for you to be looking That's for what action. I'm saying. It's cruel. It's and actually like, cruel. I don't. But the thing is, I don't. Have you heard of us watching reality TV and thinking like the other person is wrong? Yeah. So for instance, Fakem and I watch something. Nini and Posha argue. Maybe Fakem sides with Nini. I side with Posha, and we have a disagreement because of that. That's dramatic. Yeah. Coming to tell me you don't think you love me a it's month crazy. into a wedding is actually crazy behavior. It's crazy. I'm sorry. It's also, do you know, I find that like there's so many things you can say before you get there. It's so cruel to tell somebody you're with that you don't love. Like, also, you can't take it back. That's the problem. You know, you say things and when you're with people, sometimes you you know the thing that is just say that as in that the insults will enter. And you say them, but like you know that there's some some things that you, if you say them, you can't unsay them. It it can't change. Also, this person is very happy to play mind games. That's what what I'm saying. Essentially, like it's one thing to be even. You know, if I even felt like maybe I was, I even thought he was going to say. Sorry, excuse me. That he's anxious that maybe they are avoiding big issues in their relationship because they don't. Because some people believe that. A healthy couple argues it like quite often. Yeah, and if if you, you know, had said, it's, it's, about, it's not about not fighting; oh, it's about like, the way you fight. Maybe please. we're not because we're not. We we seem to like not want to offend each other, so we don't talk things to. That's a different thing. You telling me that oh, because we're not a dramatic couple, you let don't me love tell you, me. Let me tell you. Now this is the other side of it. Number one, I think it's cruel. Number two, so it, when it comes to all this relationship tussle, mm-hmm. I feel like. I mean, and when I say relationship tussle, I don't mean like cheating. That's not a tussle. That is a declaration of war. <laughs> I'm talking about like as in arguments, you know, tussle. I think that once you stop being cruel, I'm not playing anymore. Yes. I'm not playing anymore. Actually. Once you start doing things that are like cruel and like it just a complete violation to me, I don't engage. Sure. And what I would suggest to this babe is that, I, see... You cannot... Actually, yeah, because I think we approach it like the person yeah. was joking. They are not joking. The person is, he's not joking. And he's the not thing joking. is that you cannot out-talk somebody telling you they don't love you anymore. Mm. You must see that kind of thing. You must take it as face value. And once I have taken it that you don't love me anymore, I start to act accordingly. I'm sorry, that's it. Because I just feel like there's a, there's a way you can be cruel to somebody that you are with that there's nothing you can provoke out of me if you're yelling me you don't love me. First of all, if you think I'm going to have an argument with you about it, like all jokes aside, then you're not serious. What are we doing here? So this is my suggestion to her that this man wants to run you mad. Mm-hmm. And if you play into it, you will really, really run mad. Because, you, you know, you're, you're always going to be in a crazy position by the time you start asking someone questions about what, how and why they don't love you anymore. You, you're going to put yourself in a crazy... What kind of question is... Okay, but like when did One this month start? after the wedding. Did you get, when did this start? Crazy. When did you stop loving? I'm sorry. He said he doesn't love you. You must take it like that. It's going to be very painful, but like, why do you, you know, you have to get to a point where you're asking yourself, why do I want to be with somebody who like, is very fine being telling cruel. me that, that it's very fine being so cruel to me. Yeah. So sis, I know marriage is sacred, wanting, wanting. I think you have to kick him to the club. Yeah. That's the truth. I think you have to take it like that. He doesn't love you. And then you have to do whatever you need to do to accept that that's a reality. And even if maybe he said it and he didn't mean it, that level of cruelty is just, yeah. it's crazy now. At the very least, therapy, sure. I can't lie. You need it. At you the very need, least. No, need it. I know you that need people it. say, oh, we're being dramatic. We just married, blah, blah, blah. No problem. No, you actually need it. You don't need it to us, but at the very least, therapy. I'm telling you, you need it because like it will... You know, things like that make you deeply question yourself. Yeah. And, they, you know, it's just, it's fucked. I don't, li- I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Oh, this one's a bit serious. Wait, let me read mine. Okay. Oh, um, which one am I reading now? The first or the second one? Okay, hold on. Let me just... 
Okay, I'm gonna read. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Hello, Jules. Hi, FK. I've written to the pod before and you guys insulted me, but I'm not offended. Thank God. <laughs> but I received small sense after. Small new because I'm still in that situation. Oh, you great. see my problem. Anyway, my dilemma for today is funny. I stay in a hostel and I have this roommate who is always naked in capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nighttime. Let me ease up kind of naked. Though. It's continual habitual stuck nakedness every <laughs> damn second of the day. And I find it disgusting because I did grow up showing my body to people even mm. though I have three sisters. It's so bad that I can't face a particular direction <laughs> if I'm eating because I might just throw up. I complain, I complain, same as my other roommate. We both complain that our lives are... But this auntie keeps saying that that's how I feel free. <laughs> Nobody says she should wear a wrap, but just put on light clothing for heaven's sake to cover up. Hell no. Like, it's not bad enough. This nonsense girl will go about sitting on our chairs or on our beds <laughs> naked. <laughs> I've had to start wiping my chair down whenever I want to sit down because I don't trust... That she hasn't sat down in my absence. Ew. She also cooks naked. And Lord knows I can never eat her food. No matter how starved I am. Anyways, I still have a, a, few, a few months to spend here. And this situation is driving me nuts. Help. Okay, what, what should she do now? I can't lie. This is tough. This is so funny to me. This is crazily funny to me. Do you know what it is to have... I'm thinking of my work chair. Do you know what it is to have somebody... it is to have someone's bare ass? On my couch. On your couch, on your working what chair. Still, you come to, as she said on her bed, like you come to your room, also just with me, and you're, you're <laughs> naked. Ah, I have the problem. She can't kick her off because she doesn't want to make her with her naked body. I'm sorry, but like, what kind of problem is this? I have a plan. Oh, I have a plan. So you guys are roommates. Um, I think you need to set a silent alarm every night for the next week or so. And you need to catapult her. <laughs> like, naked. Like, so, like, you have to go over to her bed and just pew, 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 Put her that she's in bed. I have a different... Yes, and then you dive back into your okay. bed and sleep. I have a different you plan. You do this consistently. I have a different plan. You know what Wait, you now need. let me finish. Oh, yeah, go ahead. You do this consistently. And what you're going to notice is that this starts off with her being uncomfortable and in pain. Right? Because she's naked. So that means she's going to probably reduce being on anybody else's bed but her own because she's naked and in pain. The next thing you can do is you guys should do a haul for her. Go and buy all sorts of, even if it's the see-through. That's what I'm boo-boo. saying. They're saying it's not or about the sheer mesh. Mesh. <laughs> she can't wear mesh. mesh. <laughs> the, she can't wear childish. Can for her, we'll make an exception. We even be like, okay, do you know what? Underwears. She can wear underwears. She can wear underwears. She can wear underwears. But I really think that you have to, you have to, you have to frustrate her into wearing clothes. To. There's but not something I don't that can think be that the catapult with. thing will frustrate her. I think it will work. You know what I think they need to buy? What? Peppermint oil. What are you talking about? Peppermint oil. If you sit down on my chair, and there's peppermint oil there. I can assure you, you won't see that again. Uh-huh. Yes, peppermint oil. That's what she says. She likes the tingles. Oh god! Like we have to, to think. Be fair, someone that this is not a stable person. At her door, naked. naked. No, that person can kill. If you, actually, let me tell you the other thing you need to do. You need to start having friends over, not men, because men are insane. Yeah, yeah. Not men. Men are insane. No, no. As in, babes, no, no, not men. Men are insane. Freaking me, we went to men boarding. are too insane. We can't risk it. No, but went to, not something that we went to boarding house. There's some babes that don't mind actually, being they naked. Don't give a shit. So even if you invite your friends, it's they not all that babes. Down there. She just, she just say, ah, 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 she might even try and hug them. <laughs> naked. I'm not the friend that you Because I was going to say, if you again. invite other babes, if they're randomly like rocking up to the house or like your mom, mm-hmm. what you need is like your mom randomly rocking up to the house. Maybe that might put some fear. Huh? But I don't nobody know. wants mommy to come. Ah, do you know what the problem is? If I find my mommy one too many times, she'll just start getting excited and start dropping in. Oh, well, I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, actually, I know what it is. That you have to get into content creation. You have to have login. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. You have to have a tripod and on. You want, and you know what you need to do? At all times. Fake media, actually right. And then you should make sure that... If a tripod is on our recording, yes. you will not say, oh, your roommate should come, come into you the know, video. Is, say come, hi. Say hi. When she's naked. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> By the time, that's what you need to do. Because now that she's in the videos, yes. she has to dress she has up. To wear she has to wear shirts. Okay, she has to wear shirts. Okay, it's, it's a big one, but you, you have, have to. You have to have vlogging. Um, <laughs> you must open a YouTube account. You must, as in... Every time, even if you never post, just what you do, know you're recording for your blog. Tripod must always be standing on. See, you said that you're doing all these pranks, house pranks. Now, <laughs> just you put your camera in the corner. You must like have it because I'm ju- I'm hoping that if she sees that like you're regularly recording your own life and things, the other roommate, blah blah blah, and she just like, ah, babe, sorry, please, just you know, wear shirt so that I don't mistakenly put your breasts on the web. I think this is the best way to go about it. Let me not lie. I think mm. we've landed at at a good solution. You must get into blogging. Yeah. Vlogging. That's what you must do. One million percent. Um, this per- that's what you must do. Because I'm hoping that she doesn't want to be naked on the internet. She might not mind. Because that might be a step too far. That might be a step too far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Speaking of dilemmas, guys, now... You can send you can in send voice, voice dilemmas. Yeah. You, you can, can send, send voice, voice notes. notes. And because... Our audio engineer is a genius. Don't worry. We're going to we can change your voice. your voice. We can change um, your voice a little bit. We can make you sound funny. We can um, make you sound weird or gruff or deeper or higher. I know that a lot of people that like <laughs> someone might recognize their voice, which is fair enough. That's yeah. fine. So we can, we'll just change the pitch of your voice. You know, it will sound a bit auto-tuned, but like, yeah, whatever. But yes, you can send voice notes so that we can hear your problem very well <laughs> and hear the color. We are cutting of it problem. off at a miniature. It's so. just one minute because honestly, there's some dilemmas that are like seven go paragraphs, on and, on and, and I just on and feel on. like that's a short story. Yeah. Okay. Um. So one minute, and then we'll, what will happen is we'll listen, we'll play it in the episode, we'll listen to it, and then, and then we'll get, know, into, we'll get it. into it. I'm very excited about this. I don't know why. I feel like. This is going to be. It's like let me tell you, it's giving call into the radio, yeah. and I love, I love, I love that. Call I love a bit of that. So, I love that. Um, I love that. That's that. I have an unsafe space this week. Okay. Um, I, I, my unsafe space this week is sexy tattoos, and the fact that people just don't fully commit. If you're going to be a bad girl or a bad boy, be bad. Like for instance, like our aunties that in the nineties that have rose, rose. tattoo on their breasts. You know that that woman fucks people up in traffic. You just know that this is somebody you don't mess with. Or your uncle that will have one, like, black power sign on his arm. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, this is a bad guy. This is a bad gal. Now, people will just put, like, has beats sign. You Excuse guess, me. Or, like, a on smile, their ankle. Like, I'm just like... On their or wrist. like, like a heart. You know? And I'm just like, okay. I have a friend who... Well, a friend of a friend, if I'm or being like frank. A, ah. Who does like he he's going to no theory, so he has like yeah. things on his arm. And I'm like, oh yeah, so cool. Look at my look at my cool, unique tattoo. You're not a bad boy. I want like society is segmented based on markers. Do you get? And now people are fucking up the tattoo Don't go markers. Tattoo John three sixteen. Let's see how. Do you understand? Like if you're going to do it, do it. See portable. <laughs> Okay, if you're Jara, going to do this you know, thing, here's the thing. Let I was, us actually, do it let me tell you, I was with you. <laughs> We were together. Okay. No, fake him. You now use as a clarion call. What? Portable. Of course. Because you you see portable with the tattoos. And you know what it says? Clear road. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. Now I'm seeing big men, six foot four, with a dainty thing. A sweet little. On the ins- left inside. Writing. Of their wrists. Sir, I'm just like, please, please. Aguero is going to look at the both of us and say, look at two dummies. If you want to get a tattoo, get something that says to the FBI, investigate me. <laughs> yes, you have to commit, okay? I know, so. Tattoos were for bad boys and girls. It's like me, I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to start drinking. Kai kai. Hard, hard liquor. Hard. Hard liquor. All these nonsense so are drinking no, doesn't speak well. No, of if, you're not bad, to, babes. if you're going to go into something, let me go tell, into can I tell it you, well. please? I know this is not the time, but I just want to tell you a very stupid story just about this. So, you know, I watch a lot of movies, I'm learned, mm-hmm. I'm learned, I'm exposed. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm a sophisticated lady. Okay. I'm actually a sophisticated lady. So, I went to RSVP. We sat down at the bar. Mm-hmm. They said what I want to drink. I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a sophisticated drink. 
I said, I like to have a martini shaken, not stirred. Um, <laughs> dinner. And I said, I like it with the olive. Just on James Bond. Mm-hmm. That drink is nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just be frank. That drink is an absolute travesty. <laughs> I know. The guy now gave it to me with the olive and everything. Shaken, not stirred. I just want to answer. I know. Look at that person. I'll see that. Is, is, is this the drink? <laughs> like, is this, is this what they're doing? This whole match, this is what they're doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like to ask myself that am I is it I'm not sophisticated? You're not because people do like it. And then I came to the conclusion that they're fucking liars. <laughs> they are. But I remember that day I was just like, uh, I want to have an upscale drink. Mm-hmm. Do you get I'm a big babe, I'm a big babe. I'm actually a big babe. I love drinking all this, all this, you know, mojito. No, 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 please. Please. I mean, an upstanding drink. And that so was the all day you I did. had a Negroni. Nasty. No, that's awful. It's nasty work. That's I said, awful. let me tell you, a martini, a terrible drink. <laughs> great glass, awful drink. <laughs> and then I had to change it to a porn star martini. The best. Which is great. Which the is the best. Look, best of it. But let me I tell you something. Porn star somehow. martini, creamy pasta, a Lagos girl's uniform. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. But yeah, that's just an aside. But, yeah. you know. Uh, but if you were going to get a tattoo, what would you get? A breton. Rose <laughs> sun On my left heaving bosom. Uh-uh. I know my breast is even big. You shout from far. As in Jesus' crown of Gara, gold. I'm going to do that. Or I would get something that like tells people like if it would look a little rough. It wouldn't like J Dollar. Do you know what I think would be jarring? What? If I got like a <coughs> proverb in Yoruba with all the amio. Just as in on my breast. You see, what this is, now we're talking. Yeah, because, me. Let me tell you something. If you see me with a Yoruba proverb on my chest, nah, I can't I'm a up. killer. <laughs> I'm a killer. It just imagine me walking around. Yeah. Like just me? He- I know that all this nonsense Yoruba was speaking. Heavy. Heavy Yoruba, yeah. Deep, deep Yoruba. Mm-hmm. All this one of the lion and the goat. <laughs> you guess. Once I just have a proverb about the lion and the goat on my breast. And I am the lion and you are the goat. You can't fuck around me. Exactly. You can't. Exactly. You can't. Because kill off all this heart, all this one thing, one thing. Exactly. Oh, yeah. when, when did that one start? Propish. People would just carry Chinese menu, put it on their oh, chest. You know, actually, like, I'm like, what is on your hand? This chicken fried actually, rice. Can my mom- that was crazy. <laughs> Mommy, if you're listening, can you put this? Just yeah. turn it off. Podcast that is over. That crazy. Thank you. Good. I have a big idea. Oh, yeah. Trump stamp, motherfucker. <laughs> and by that, I mean M-O-D-A-F-O-K-A. Actually, do you well, know that if I was a tattoo artist, I promise you, this lamba of like, because people want Sanskrit tattoos, mm-hmm. Chinese, I'll just be writing toilets <laughs> on your hand. <laughs> Chicken fried rice, <laughs> butterfly pl- prawns. <laughs> because you ask them what it means, they say, oh, the sun is rising, the moon is okay, naked. Oh. You know, it means beauty. I said, what is on your hand is vegetable spring rolls. At the <laughs> end of the day, that's actually what you have to ask. And you can't argue you with can't, me. You can't, you don't know the meaning, <laughs> sir. You don't know mockery. So one tattoo artist, a maker tattooing, <laughs> said that he can write Chinese. Oh, listen. I just, <laughs> people are going through it. Let me lot. tell you something. If you go anywhere where they do tattoo, they say they also do pink lips, pink lips. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They've used you to do. See, uh, let me homework. just yarn you that all those foreign languages. I'm hundred percent sure well, most nonsense. of them are rubbish. Oh man! So I just that's just a side yeah. bar for you guys. But anyway, hope I'm giving you some inspo. We hope we're giving you inspiration. We hope we got to some dilemmas that you liked, even if you didn't. That's your business. Why? Because you're a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this has been absolutely fun. Lovely time. As usual, you please you use the hashtag. Follow us on Instagram. Follow Subscribe us on TikTok. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube. These are like important things. These are really things. important things. Important like things. when you subscribe and leave a comment. Share things. Do the things that we need because. Use the hashtag, which quite, I don't remember. Quite right frankly, now. we put in a lot of work. A lot work. of work. I know it looks brief. <laughs> But but it's like, a lot. Honestly, it's the same thing as that martini problem. It looks simple, but it's not complex. Anyway, have a great time. See you next week. Bye. Bye.